Hello, bear watchers. <laughs> yeah, I, it's easy to throw my robe on. I'm home for lunch. My robe is nice and warm and cozy. I just put it over top of my scrubs. <laughs> Look, we still got the Christmas decorations up. It's Wednesday. Um, so I needed an intro. <laughs> so I am here with an intro and the bird is going to help. <laughs> Oh, and look at that. Then we're starting to gather stuff on the kitchen table again. We didn't get time to take down the Christmas decorations. I don't know if I can talk Mary into doing it over the weekend while I'm gone. Um, maybe I can get the boxes up for her. Um, I mean, not while I'm maybe just over the week while I'm gone because I won't be dragging her out anywhere. She'll be stuck at home. <laughs> her and Heather. Oh, I don't know. But yeah. Um, I've been bad and I looked back at like last year's videos. I got sick about this time of year, which, you know, is why we didn't do anything, but I get in a funk this time of year. January just kind of disappears because I get like this seasonal depression and even though I feel good this year, it's like I'm not getting anything done and, uh, and that's probably why I leave my decorations up till the end of the month every year. But we still haven't drawn the names for our, you know, giveaway. So we'll probably do that uh, tonight or tomorrow. And then that will be in um, probably Sunday's video. Uh, I We probably won't tell who won. Um, Mary's trying, this is another reason too, is Mary's trying to figure out how we can do an email list with, uh, he's really noisy, <laughs> um, with our, uh, oh, the Google Forms. Because I know the reason why you can do Google Forms is because you, it would be easy to create an email list and, and email everybody. So once we figure all that out, it'll be so much easier to get all of this, you know, the giveaways and everything, you know, figured out. So, but I do want to get the mail before I leave on vacation. So, so we have to get that going. Um, sorry, sorry, people. <laughs> but you wouldn't have known that anyway. <laughs> Unless you won and, and you're like, why did I get this so late? <laughs> it's because we haven't sent them out yet. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go get this video started editing because I'm going to try to edit a few videos before I go. So I don't know. Mary might do one while I'm gone. So who knows? We'll see. How well show you what happened this week it all started with we were we were cleaning <laughs> so mary was vacuuming around me while i was editing the monday measures video <laughs> so here you go all of our sheets. Oh, oh i was editing a video mary came over here and started vacuuming underneath me See, we saw one of those shoe racks over at Costco. And this is the shoe situation over here where I edit. So, we're thinking about doing something with this corner over here. Putting putting that on top of a rack. And then we can pile all the shoes under it. You know, I think I've got another shelf where I can do that with. So, we'll see. Hmm. If the problem is opening the door but see how far the shoes come out anyway we'll figure it out she lost her 
in a hole. We need a broom closet. Okay, I didn't know what to eat for breakfast. I did a bunch of cleaning yesterday and I guess we have to take down Christmas decorations today. Sadness. Um, but <laughs> I'm making little mini quiches for breakfast because mom got these for my lunch. But then we uh, realized they weren't like individually packaged. Um, so I am going to make them now. And then if they don't all get eaten by us, um, I can have some for breakfast the next couple days. Oh, the oven's ready. I also have this um, peppermint hot cocoa bomb that I've had since probably early to mid-December. Um, so I'm going to make that today too. Melt. Maybe I didn't make the milk warm enough. We'll see. <laughs> it's just floating there. I think it's melting now. It looks like the side has popped. Chocolatey. Look at a spoon. There we go. Uh, peppermint hot cocoa. Doggy's just waiting for that delicious smelling quiche to come out of the oven. <laughs> Did you so? Lazy on Sunday, probably because we're usually lazy on Sunday. Your <laughs> faces. Yum. <laughs> They're trying to get through, but mom's blocking the way. <laughs> well, the cloud bread is actually easy to make, but <laughs> it causes a lot of dishes. I gotta clean up all these dishes before I do the Monday measures. Yipes. So, it's almost 20 below. It almost hit 30 below this morning. And it's afternoon. Um, it's about quarter after five right now. In the car, driving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That's how we get our snow plowed. <laughs> That's life. He comes over here and he packs down our snow for us. Um, that's a thing here. It's better to pack down the snow. That way you got a hard pack. And uh, I don't do it because I just don't have the time back and forth, back and forth. Um, we sh shovel the walk, but this year we haven't had a whole lot of snow. I mean, we had a big dumping and then, you know, four inches here, four inches there. So with to or yesterday... Of course, the Christmas lights are still out there. Um, we had about three inches of snow. 
And so that would probably bring our total here, because last time I measured it was 20 inches to about 23 inches of snow total. But yeah, so uh, this sidewalk usually gets cleared all the way, uh, but we'd had that big dumping, so it got packed down. But, Knowing him, he'll probably shovel a walk for me because I'm going to cook right now. I'm going to do the Monday measures. Ooh, this is some place I haven't been in a long time. It's uh, Sunshine Health Food Stores. This is the big one. They've got like a little, um, you know, Celtic woolen place in here. But this is the upstairs. They've got a big grocery store up here. And then in the back here, they have a cafe. It's got two sides. There's another, it goes all the way around the back over there. And then way over there in the other corner is where you get all your food and beverages. They have little gifty things down here. All your essential oils. Back this up. So downstairs is where all the you know, regular health food store stuff is. Protein powders, vitamins. They give GNC a run for their money. I don't even go to GNC anymore. They're just gotten way outpriced. Snowing today. Big fluffy flakes. See, sunshine health food. Sarissa from her dialysis. So I offered because she was having a hard time getting a cab there. She had to be there at 5.30 this morning. I felt so bad. Well, I had to slam on my brakes there. <laughs> thought maybe there would be enough natural light. Well, I guess there is, kind of. <laughs> it's a little grainy, but <laughs> I'm home and I didn't hit any moose. <laughs> I had to slam on my brakes because th that the big mama moose, she jumped out right in front of me. <laughs> so uh, that was a close call. So it got me a little nervous here. Um, yeah, I, uh, I figured I was dropped Sarissa off up at the university and I was driving by the health food store and I hadn't been in there. In a, well, I was in there just recently, but um, I needed some things. So I figured I would stop in. I haven't had any magnesium and uh, I've been out of it for probably over a month. And that might be part of the reason why I'm not sleeping because I usually take it before I go to bed. And uh, just the last few nights, I'm, I haven't had any problem till now, but just the last few nights, uh, even taking the painkillers and the uh, ibuprofen PM, my legs have been cramping up. And I know that I'm getting enough of my fluids and my, well, the first night I might have been dehydrated, but, um, you know, it's got to be magnesium deficiency. So I'll show you what I got from there. 
I'm running out of my flax seed, so I got some flax seed. And I just sprinkle this on my food and, uh, you know, my eggs or whatever. And I got some liquid aminos, you know, some things that call for soy sauce. I think I'm going to try that instead. Um, and then you got to have a treat once in a while. So so I, I'm i going to try these. Um, I think I've had some before. I think life actually got me some they were on clearance but i got those coconut cups and or the hazelnut butter cups i was thinking about getting coconut and then i i got the magnesium so let me see what was all that stuff Ugh. let me see the magnesium was 27 dollars the keto cups were 12 uh, the aminos were 12 and the flax meal was 13 so yeah $63 there it's not so dark <laughs> so that was worth the trip over there it's all the stuff that I've been wanting to get and that I needed yeah I'm uh, my flax I got seeds last time I got it, and I ground them up and put them back in the bag, and that's what I've been using because it was cheaper to do it that way. But that wasn't a bad price. So, yeah, they didn't have kefir over there. They sell it to the other store, and it didn't even look like they had a space for it over at the big one. Uh, there's two Sunshine Health stu stores in town, um, uh, far away on either side of town one's that one's up by the university and then there's another one that's over by um fort wainwright actually the one that's by fort wainwright is closer to me because i'm you know on that side of town so but it's a that's the original store and it's a smaller store um, they don't have a cafe here <laughs> they've got a little tiny grocery store in there um it's mostly supplements all right i think now that i'm up and dressed and running around i'm going to see if heather's up and wants to go to costco with me because um we should have looked for eggs i came home and i made that uh cloud bread and it takes six eggs and uh, heather didn't tell me that she was using the other carton <laughs> so i'm i'm really short on eggs so we'll go see if we can find eggs. <laughs> I'm at that Safeway. There is no milk, none at all. That's kind of scary. They have some eggs though. I just scored five dozen at Costco. It was 12 something. It's 15.79 here. <laughs> See the snow in my hair? <laughs> Look, I just got out of the car for a second to, to close the gate behind me. <laughs> Big, fat, fluffy flakes. Oh my gosh, I can't. I just cleaned it off. <laughs> We don't usually show you a whole lot of our other shopping, but there's five Hot Pockets in there. And then Mary likes these burritos, but you know, switch it up just a little tiny bit every once in a while. <laughs> so, so those eight pack of the El Monterey burritos are $13.69. So, you know, that's a lot cheaper than the coffee huts and then the um, Hot Pockets were $8.29 and then I got my squeezed garlic I was out of. I just used it for my Monday measures. Those were um... oh what the heck 
It did not take off my... Yeah. They were supposed to be $3.99. It did not take that off of there. Holy cows. Okay. I really don't like the... You know, when you use the self-serve checkout over there, it's... um. Yeah, because those were supposed to come up three ninety nine, not, and they were actually the regular price was four ninety nine, so that shouldn't even be eleven ninety eight on those uh, garlics. Oh, okay, gotta fix that. Oh, and I got the five dozen eggs from Costco. I thought they were twelve something, but they were fifteen ninety nine. I was just grabbing, um, and then the uh, bubble teas. The girls wanted some more of those, so there's eight of those in there for fourteen eighty nine. But that's all I got from Costco. Oh my gosh! Life shoveled that walkway before he left last night. That's how much it snowed just since this morning. And it's still coming down. Coming down pretty good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I just let Kip out. He is covered with snow already. See the table? Oh, boy. And yes, that's my cauliflower rice out there. <laughs> I didn't have room for it in the freezer. <laughs> um, there's people up there, but you can't see them. Um... The one in front of me keeps breaking, so every now and then you can see him. <laughs> the camera doesn't give it justice. It's a little bit hard to see with our vision. Oh my gosh. Up there, can you see it? <laughs> Time to go shovel some snow. <laughs> Are you following me? I should hook a shovel to you. Pretty darn deep. <laughs> and it's cold out here. I don't know. I think it's like negative seven or something. At least it's not 20 below. <sighs> I'm all yellow. Bean is not happy. <laughs> she likes to be out there when people are shoveling, but the gate is open. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what to do with her, poor thing. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I always fix your lighting, I don't I? <laughs> Heather, turn the lights on <laughs> that are over here, actually. <laughs> right above me. <sighs> I, gotta, I had to come in and take a break. My fingers, <laughs> the tips of my fingers got really cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And, and my... Yeah. yeah. We got our nails done today. Yeah. So, Heather got tips. Yeah, Mary got tips too, but she added a little Yeah, design. and then she got heart designs on her. So. And the Christmas stuff is still up, and it's Monday night. <laughs> oh gosh, I've been outside for over an hour shoveling. It didn't seem like it. Okay. I'm gonna do something with being here. Where'd Mary go? Uh, is Mary in front of the garage, maybe? Maybe. She might be, might be doing the garage. <laughs> Life here to save the day. He doesn't like the way we shovel, so he fixes it. <laughs> I, I just plow through everything. See, I made a path to the dog run, and I made a path to the gate. <laughs> uh, okay, a bulk of it's done. The, the thermometer says is just below zero. I check what the Fairbanks weather app says. 
Well, I just looked at the weather app and it was uh, seven below. <laughs> I don't think I trust that little thermometer out there. I got one of these digital ones for myself for Christmas and um, we got like a little flame thing for um, creme brulees, <laughs> even though I can't have them anymore. I wonder if I do like the fake sweetener, if it'll melt like a regular. I could do honey. Uh, I will do that if I'm um, down carbs for the day. But I tell you what, honey will throw me for a loop just like sugar, but it doesn't. I don't know. It's different. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to maybe set up this other thermometer. Here's something you won't see in Alaska anymore. These lithium batteries. Those little AAA and AA ones. Yeah. They don't ship them here anymore. It's, it's a feet and a half. <laughs> so, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to order some from Amazon and we'll see what happens. Because that's actually where I got these from. So yeah, Heather's going to set this thing up for me. <laughs> She's got an egg out there. She's going to fry an egg. But it's got the outdoor sensor. And it senses from 200 feet away. So we're going to put it over on the other side of the garage. And it's got the humidity and inside-outside temperature. Pretty cool. Mary's out frosty. Look at her hair. Yeah. Is that crazy? It's cold. <laughs> and it's I don't think snowing. it's is it snowing again? It's it's uh on and off. She's even turn around. There. Yeah. Turn the thing all the way around. Yeah, she's like covered. I was covered like that, but it didn't look like it was snowing when I was out there. It's like very lightly. I think it's mostly soft, but I still see little bits yeah. falling here. There. This usually comes from breathing on your hair. Yeah, because that's yeah. probably like. <laughs> <laughs> Are you almost done? Uh, I'm done. Is the gate shut? No. Oh, because no. she's thinking she's going to go out. We need to go in there. So I'm already wondering about this thing because I've had this sensor sitting right next to it. And the outside sensor says 66, but the inside says 72. Shouldn't they be the same thing? They're right next to each other. And my inside temperature is actually 64. Because that's what all my other thermometers in the house say. <laughs> is 64. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hmm... Well, look at that. I think it's got it figured out. <laughs> it's 64 degrees inside the house. I don't know. Maybe my hand was heating it up yesterday because I was messing with it. But I don't have to tell you the date anymore either. It's right there. Look. January 24th, Tuesday. Zero degrees outside. And the only reason why it's that warm is because it's still trying to snow. <laughs> Look, I just took the trash out. We shoveled all that last night. There was a black fox when I opened the door. A black fox was hauling butt down the road. That's that one. Um, they say that they're really rare. And apparently we must have the digs on them because there's a lot of those silver fox here. I see photographers get pictures of them all the time. And then we get uh, what they call cross foxes, where they're red, breeded with the uh, black ones, silver ones. All right, I gotta get ready for work. <laughs>